So the Pink Moon's on its way. You know what that means. Been listening to a lot of Nick Drake. And I've come up with a theory as to why, despite not really having had much recognition in his lifetime, that he's become somewhat of a cult classic in the folk scene. And I think it's because this dude clearly struggled with depression and he was a very introverted dude. And the first couple albums were pretty heavily produced and polished. And the third album, Pink Moon, he just seemed to really channel his emotion just in raw format, just singing and guitar. And I feel like it was an expression of sort of the sunlight breaching through some clouds of depression. He died two years after releasing that album, and according to police reports, he took his own life, although it's somewhat up for debate. He didn't leave a note or anything, and it was uh, just an overdose of prescription meds, mostly antidepressants, and so it's in question as to whether or not it was a last hope for getting better versus a uh, plunge into the darkness. But either way, my theory as to why this resonates so deeply with people is because I think he's shown a glimmer of hope for artists that are struggling to really retain an audience and to um, get that direct feedback from people that what they're doing is appreciated. And I think he's been an example of someone who got that recognition long after he was gone. And of course that's not something necessarily to strive for, but it is a reminder to keep going and to keep creating. And I think if we go deep enough, then it can be a reminder and an encouragement to realize that creation and creativity can be its own reward and that it's really this internalized capitalism where we feel like we need to have some kind of feedback or compensation for creating art. And I think it can be something that is just complete within itself. You know, some art doesn't even need to be shared. Sometimes it's just for yourself and just for that, that pure expression. But either way, whatever your intention is, I just encourage you to keep going and enjoying it, tapping that flow and trusting where it'll go. So that said, I just put out a new track. It's an instrumental called Whistle, and it's kind of a echo to Nick Drake's instrumental called Horn. So it's a pretty direct tribute to Nick Drake and just an honoring of his spirit, and that spirit of pure expression and meditative musings on 